Welcome to episode four of Protect Yourself at All Times, the series. I'm your host, Adrian Clark, and I am here with Toy Irving, mother of uh, Evan Holyfield, and of course, son of one of the greatest heavyweights to step inside the ring, Evander Holyfield. And today we're talking about um, parental involvement in the sport of boxing. We used to seeing the dads involved in the, the fighters' careers, but today we're talking with the mother of a fighter. Uh, Toy, thank you for sitting down with me today. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me. First question, just hopping right into it. Um, what was your knowledge of the boxing business before Evan turned pro? Hmm. Well, I just, you know, um, I did work a little bit with uh, Evander, so I knew a little bit, um, but I really, I just probably just knew the surface of it, you know, just the names and the faces and the titles, but I didn't, um, know the intricate details you didn't have any prior knowledge of the business before evan got in evan didn't know what to look for in a manager did you know what to look for in a manager what questions to ask things of that nature no not really no gotcha. i did not know <laughs> gotcha. so no. how did how did the the meeting go with his former manager before you guys actually agreed to move forward with it was there open dialogue between yourself or maybe Vander and the, the previous manager or not, not as much? There was um, some open dialogue in, in, in the beginning, but um, I think later, um, you know, I think that they were not wanting me to be a part of the, uh, of the dialogue. So it was more of like a pushback to get, you know, mom out the way, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so, you know, it was, very little dialogue towards the end. Do you yeah. feel like, because typically in boxing, um, it's a majority male sport. Mm -hmm. um, it's made up of the, the men being mostly promoters or trainers, managers, yeah. even with the fighters. Yeah. Do you feel like uh, with you being a woman, with you being a mom, yeah. the doors are not open to have oh, yeah. the, even though you're not a momager, <laughs> do you feel like the doors were kind of closed on you to be involved was. in the business? Yeah, yeah. And I never wanted to be a mom manager. Everybody wanted me to be the mom manager, but I, I definitely didn't want it because it's such a, you know, gotcha. it's a brutal sport. But um, yeah, I, I got a lot of pushback. I mean, everybody wanted to put me in my place. I mean, they were saying, you know, you're just a mom and, you know, he doesn't need you. And, you know, this is, um, this is something that's for men and, hmm. you know, um, really just trying to create a spot for me, you know, trying to, and, and that's not, I mean, you know, uh, I'm more than a mother, right. you know, I'm, I'm a business person as well. Gotcha. I mean, I'm also like, I'm on the outside of the forest. I mean, sometimes you can't see cause you're in the forest, but mm. I can see a lot more than, you know, my son could probably see. I mean, you know, gotcha. you can see, you can see people that are lying. Gotcha. Typically I'm against family being directly involved in the business um, of, of boxing with the clients, with the fighters. Hmm. Um, you as a mom actually going through it. I mean, Evan was what, 20 when he turned pro? Yes, he was about 20. So how mm -hmm. involved would you rec would you recommend parents being, um, especially when the, the mm -hmm. fighter is so young, mm -hmm. how involved would you want them to be mm -hmm. uh, in mm -hmm. the beginning of the careers? In the beginning, I think a parent should be involved because you got a 20 year old. What do they know about picking out a manager? Right. What do they know about, you know, creating a team? Gotcha. How do they know? Um, and you're 20 years old and, and then you have people on your team that are 30 something years old, 40 something years old, 50 something years old, 20 year old. I mean, they're still, you know, probably a little bit in, intimidated. I mean, going to look at these people as, right. as adults, you gotcha. know, not as a pair, but uh, someone that they listen to and that so that kind of changes the dynamic of this independent athlete right mm. um, in regards to him how is he going to feel secure enough within himself to dictate to the people on his team as to what it is that he wants gotcha. so it kind of the role is reversed these people are going to end up telling the talent gotcha. what they should do so in the beginning I think that is good for the parent or parents to guide that that um uh, you know, that boxer, that young boxer. Knowing what you know now in regards to the business side of yeah. boxing, let's go back to when Evan decided he wanted to go pro. Mm -hmm. What would be the first thing that you would do once you knew that Evan wanted to go pro? What's the first thing that you would look to do before um, signing with a promoter or whatever it may be? What's your first move learning that 
okay, he wants to go pro. I know the business now. What would be your first move? Not a trick question. It's just something right, like right. to get your I mean, input on it. Golly. I mean, there's, 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 I mean, if, if he wanted to go pro and I knew he wanted to go pro, I looked at it as the same way a, a, a student or an athlete would scout a college. Mm. You would go to different campuses and you would meet, you know, the different people and you would get accustomed to the campus and see if that's a right fit for you. Is it a bigger university that's good for me? Is it a smaller university that fits me? Love it. You definitely want to be able to see that. So with the, with the professional, I wish that we were able to go to different gyms and to meet up with different trainers and, and to kind of stay there for about a week or two and kind of hang out and see if this is a good fit for me instead of Got just you. putting yourself in a position and you get to know the people along the way. And I think that's probably what we did. We kind of probably did it backwards. Gotcha. Gotcha. We know that we got to know them after the fact. After the fact, right? Yeah. And that was interesting because a lot of people they're gonna show you the best part of themselves. They're hmm. gonna smile on your face, hmm. you know, um, they're gonna tell you everything you wanna hear. Right. Right. And then all of a sudden once they get you, you know, their real true self will will, will come out. Great answer. Mm -hmm. Great answer. You know, we've we met in Dallas um, at the fight and we talked a lot afterwards about the business of boxing. And um, I think I gave Evan a copy of Protect Yourself at All Times. And mm -hmm. I know you and I have spoke a lot about it. Um, how has, whether it be myself or Protect Yourself at All Times, how has the information that I've provided you helped you um, in regards to knowing or understanding the business more or helping out Evan with certain things in regards to the business? No, actually it did. I mean, just the title itself. Gotcha. <laughs> was, I mean, very helpful. Just the title of something. You don't even have to say anything else. Hmm. Just that title. Protect yourself at all times. Not only in the ring, but outside of the ring. Gotcha. Right? Gotcha. And, you know, so that means that definitely you want to have a good attorney in your corner to be able to look at those contracts, read them over. Um, make sure you're not going to sign your life away. Hmm. Great point. Make sure somebody's not going to take all your money. Hmm. Great right? Point. Make sure somebody's not going to trap you in a contract where you can't get out of it um, until they tell you you can go. <laughs> how how difficult is it balancing your relationship with Evan, mm -hmm. like as his mom and then also someone that mm -hmm. he does listen to in regards to, to business? Mm -hmm. How difficult is it? Does it kind of put a, like a damper in, in the relationship sometimes? Is it difficult mm -hmm. to talk to Evan at times in regards mm -hmm. to to business or to personal things? Well, like, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a growth process because your kid, I mean, they're transitioning, right? you know, from me having to let him go and knowing he is no longer a kid. He's an adult, right? He's a young man and he's in the ring and he's fighting men that's 35 years old. So mm -hmm. he's a great, he's, you know, he's a grown man and you know, he can take care of himself. Yeah. So, but it's really hard for me to step back and say, Okay, let him go. He has to make his decision, but I'm here. Right. And I have to let him know I'm always here. You know, I support you. I don't, if he, if he does something and I disagree with it, I'm not going to put him down. Right. I mean, because we're all on a journey. Right. And I didn't get to where I am without mistakes. I've, I've felt plenty of times and got back up. So gotcha. he has to do the same thing. Right. You know, I can't rescue him from everything that he does. He's going to have to rescue himself. Does he need me in the boxing ring when he's fighting, <laughs> right? When he gets on those ropes. He gets, he gets himself off the ropes, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, when he's in a situation, he's going to box himself out of the situation. So he could take that same thing and apply it to his personal life. But he still needs the guidance. Gotcha. I mean, you know, we all still need guidance. Right, exactly. Because you have to have that mentor. You have to have somebody that's already done it, that's already been there to uh, impart that knowledge and that wisdom to you. Because gotcha. if you don't, I mean, if for anybody to come to a young boxer and say, you know, oh, you know what? You don't need your mom and stuff like that. You're a man. That's ridiculous. Right. That's Agreed. absolutely ridiculous Agreed. because knowledge and wisdom does not care what body it's in. Hmm. I love that. Big it's shout out to, to Dennis <laughs> Duglin. Dennis Duglin, his mom is his trainer. His nickname is Mama's Boy. Right. Uh, but his mom is his trainer mm -hmm. and they work very well together. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I look at I look at you and I think of that that duo. Even though you're not Evans' manager, right. but you know I've had deep conversation with you and I've watched you successfully make sure that your son was protected and, and out of a bad contract. Things again that 
uh, most attorneys can't even do in the sport of boxing. Uh, you put together, you execute it. So um, <laughs> I look at you and I, I see greatness based off of what you did. But big shout out to, to Dennis Ducklin and his mom because that pair really works well in boxing. And I look forward to seeing you and Evan uh, working well going forward, even if you're not his manager. Uh, I know how smart you are in business, but thank you for joining me here in, in Dallas, Toy. Yeah. Um, it was amazing to have you. And that's episode four, man. Check out episode five next. All right. Thank you.